what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Go back to Africa. Ever heard that phrase? Well, it appears that fed up with America's lock on racism, some black people are actually taking it to heart and they are relocating, getting out of America. They're going to Ghana, Germany. They're going to Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, which is where Tiffany Drayton ended up. Tiffany is from New Jersey. She found it difficult to stay there. She felt she kept getting pushed out because of gentrification. She couldn't afford a decent house. But bigger than that, the murder of Trayvon Martin threw over the top. She said, that was it. I can't take this no more. I can't do it anymore. So one day, Tiffany just got up and left, left her whole family behind. She said, I can't do it anymore. Well, now she has, uh, I believe, a mother, a sister, and another family member who has joined her in Trinidad and Tobago. So what's it like living outside of America? Well, Tiffany says, fantastic. She and a number of other people, one of the main things that they've all said is that they don't have to be worried about walking around or driving around, getting stopped by the police and worried that they may get killed. They're not, they don't shake when they're driving their car at night or the police stop them or they come near the police officers. They don't deal with that level of scrutiny like they do in the U.S. They don't have to worry about people following them around in shops, stores, and stuff like that. And they don't have this big old black person target on their forehead, especially the people who live in Trinidad and Tobago and in Ghana and other countries where there's a heavy black population. It's like, man, it feels like freedom. I thought that was interesting because I always talk about how white people in America, they get to just live and go through all of the regular things that a human being would go through if there was no racism at all. For instance, Imagine living your life where the things that you worry about is actual uh, making sure that you have a good job. You worry about a backstabbing friend. You worry about somebody cheating on you. You worry about, you know, making sure that your kids are clothed, uh, you have a roof over your head. Uh, you know, you think about things like old age and, you know, dying eventually. You know, regular stuff. What you're going to watch on television. You know, what hobby you're going to take up. Just regular living stuff. Well, imagine living that type of life. And on top of that, you got the police on your ass. And you got these white supremacists. And you got these Karens and Kevins on your ass every day, all day. Everywhere you go, they got a problem. So they don't have those problems. They get to actually just live like people. Just live their lives. Live their life unimpeded. So, question fam, how many of you would be willing to give it a try? 
I've given it a try. I stayed overseas for 10 years. I may go back. I lived in Azerbaijan for 10 years. Baku, Azerbaijan. 10 years. Never, ever once experienced racism uh, in my face like it is in the United States. I'm sure there's some form of racism, but I've never experienced it. Not even prejudice. Never had one issue once. M my kids either, not once. Good living. Now, if I didn't have my family here, I'd leave automatically. I'd, I'd be, I would have been gone. But I already know that I'll probably end up coming back here more than more than likely it's, it's really off more often than I care to, but I'd get the hell up out of the United States because it's not going to change. These uh, uncivilized people, they like to have sex, they get horny, and they're going to procreate and they're going to teach their kids to hate. This is why you can't get rid of it. You know, I used to think that, you know what, these old ones, they're just going to have to die. But even if they die, they die. They got offsprings who are having children. And that's why you see these videos from time to time. These little kids be like one years old using the N-word, two years old. And their moms and dads are filming and they're just cracking their sides. And then you go into the schools, the schools are indoctrinating them. You know, you can't miss them. The schools are teaching, teaching them that they're superior. Many of the teachers are supremacists, white supremacists. Many of uh, you know, the police officers all through the court system is systemic. It's systemic, fam. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. You can't legislate it. You can't legislate morality. Some of these people are just pure evil, pure, wicked, uncivilized. And I think uncivilized is probably the, the best word. Uncivilized. Yet they think that they're above all others. It's absolutely amazing. So in Germany, there's 120,000 Americans. About 1 million are of African descent. People are getting out. They're moving to Spain. Black people are moving to Spain. Black people are moving to London, uh, other parts of the UK. I was surprised to see black people in Denmark and where was I? I was in uh, I was in Norway. You know, not a whole lot, not a whole lot, but just to see black people. Period. I was like, man, man black people move around. So you're not really likely to go anywhere and not see any black people. There's going to be some black people almost anywhere you go. And if it's not, shit, you like what it's like. You like the atmosphere. You like the climate, you like the people, be first. So what do you think, fam? Who amongst us is willing to give it a shot? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?